Everyone, I'm Natasha Brown. Thank you so much for joining us. Everyone is talking about the heroic efforts in Wildwood tonight. Rip current swept the swimmers away near Young's Avenue, and first responders pulled the man and woman to safety at Montgomery Avenue. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves is live in the SAD Center tonight. She's been to Wildwood, chatted with some of the local heroes down there tonight. Alicia. Well, Natasha, I did speak to those rescuers who say, you know, this had a happy ending today, but they're hoping that the rescue really serves as a last minute reminder to those thinking about going to the shore and enjoying the weather this late in the year, particularly because hurricane activity in the Atlantic, it is affecting the water here. It's one of the last few weekends with weather like this, so it's no wonder some are still at the shore. But a fun day here in Wildwood nearly turned tragic for two swimmers when they got caught in a rip current. We responded quickly. We got them out of the water quickly, but uh, unfortunately that's not the case in, in every scenario. Everything aligned for the swimmers to be saved by members of the Wildwood Fire Department. First, off-duty firefighter Tina Sacco heard the call. She was nearby and decided to run and help. We're already short staffed as it is and I figured why not just grab my stuff and go with them because water rescues are intense. Saka was the first to rush to the rough waters along with newer probationary firefighter Nick Palmer. Both jumped in and got back up from the department chief. He was just coming back from a convention and out of uniform but raced to the beach, jumped in the water. All three made the rescue. It's actually feels good because I actually had a call maybe an hour later, got to the hospital, saw her sitting in the bed, the, the, the woman that we rescued. She gave me a thumbs up, said thank you, and that's all, we, that's all I need. Unfortunately, because of my position, I usually don't get to, to, to jump into action like I did today, but uh, it, it's definitely rewarding to be able to help someone and, and like we said, have a, a good outcome at the end of the day. While these firefighters are always willing to jump in the water if necessary, they have a warning about swimming at the shore this late in the year. Because you're not just putting yourself at risk, you're putting us at risk. With the storms that are in the Atlantic, uh, they do create rip currents, which uh, was the case today. And so emergency responders say enjoy the warm weather, the sand and the boardwalk, but no one should be in the water because of the hurricane activity, the hurricanes forming in the Atlantic. And right now the beaches are unguarded. Reporting live in the SAT Center, Alicia Nieves, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia, thank you so much.